Throughout its 56 year heritage, Ford has produced a lot of special limited edition Mustangs. Today we're taking a look at one of my favorite Fox Body Special Editions, the 93 Feature Car. Ford offered the feature car package in 1992 and 1993, and all of the feature cars were LX Mustang convertibles. Now the 93s, this one here, were available in either a yellow or a white. They made 1,500 white convertibles, and they made 1,503 in the yellow convertible. Now the yellow convertible package here was available with either a white or a black interior, and there were a bunch of other items that were unique to the feature car package. The yellow feature car was the most expensive of the feature car options available. For $1,488, you got a yellow convertible, which came in the canary yellow paint, which was only available on the feature car. These cars featured painted trim along with a painted cowl, custom headrests, custom floor mats, a rear spoiler, and the chrome pony wheels, which is the only vehicle they ever came on from the factory. The interior was also very unique to these cars. It was available in an all black interior or it was available in the white with a black dash. A normal white interior car in 93 would have had a gray dash, which makes the feature car unique. Now, as far as the breakdown, you had 667 automatics with black interior and 452 five speeds with black interior. The white interior was rare with only 271 autos and only 113 five speeds, making this the rarest combination for the 93 feature car. So here with Adam, who's the owner of this 93 convertible. Now tell us about this car. How long have you had this car? When did you buy it? Was it like this when you bought it? And why did you want one of these? Or didn't you want one of these and you happened just to stumble upon this? Uh, that's a good question. I actually found it on Craigslist uh, back in 2010. It was for sale. Uh, I bought it for $4,100 that day. Uh, I grew up around Mustangs. My dad and I rebuilt a 69 Fastback and Mustangs have always been in our family and I always wanted one and my mom said I couldn't buy one. So I went and bought this one. I never knew the uh, history of it. I never knew it was a feature car. So you didn't buy it because it was a feature car. You bought it because you wanted a V8 Mustang and you liked this one. Yeah, it was a V8 Mustang with a stick. Uh, it was a little rough when I bought it. It was not in this condition. Um, interior was really rough in it. The convertible top was really rough. Uh, it had a double decker SR wing on it. Uh, that front fender, um, was all mangled up. Uh, the guy had gotten it previously from a four-wheeler trade. He traded a four-wheeler for the car, okay. and then he sold the car because he had a bigger family and they didn't need it anymore. I've gotten it painted, uh, had it uh, interior redone, uh, convertible top done, suspension work was done by CJ Pony Parts when they did uh, parts installs. I remember working on this car back in the day, yeah. Uh, the motor was built by Booze Brothers. Uh, I also have a transmission from you all. I put a TKO 500 in it. Okay. And then the rear end was just built by Forsters in Chambersburg. Um, and currently we're working to get stuff on. The owner had taken stuff off and things that weren't exactly my style, big five inch tachometer, some of the gauges didn't work. Make it a little work. cleaner. Yeah, so I went for the tastefully modded, what I thought the car should look like if I was to build it, and that's where we went with it. Um, and I enjoy the car, I bought it with 80,000 miles, it now has 130,000, so we do enjoy it. Yes, it does get trailered, but I can't pack a whole lot of stuff in the True, trunk yes, of a convertible. True, yes, having owned a Fox Buddy convertible, I'm there with you. Now when you bought it, did you like yellow? I mean, did you consider repainting it because you didn't know what it was? Uh, my parents said the car fit me because I'm a loud person <laughs> and uh, it's very loud when you're driving down the road and it grew on me. Uh, the first time I drove it, I never drove anything with that amount of power and I fell in love and I told, called my dad, I said, look, I gotta buy the car. I went and left the money. Next day I went and picked the car up and um, it's been with me ever since. Now, one of the unique things I saw in this car, and I honestly never noticed it until you literally brought it here today, is the front splitter. Now, that's obviously not a factory part. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's uh, off of a 03, 04 Mach 1 reproduction that uh, you can buy here at CJ Pony Parts. And my brother and I were like, let's do something different to the front of the car, make it a little more aggressive, make it almost like it's a little bit lower than it already is. And so we bought this spoiler here, and we are like, okay, well, it's way too big. Uh, because it's for a new edge. So we put it under one of those red heat lamps that you see at like a body shop and just kind of made it nice and soft and found the center of the car, found the center of the spoiler. When it was nice and warm, it was able to be manipulated so we could put relief cuts in it so it could follow the body molding around the side and down to the back to the uh, front fenders. So we had to keep cutting and readjusting um, until we got a perfect fit. 
Um, this is not one that you buy aftermarket. This is definitely homemade. And it looks factory. Yeah, it you does. Think, it, if, you didn't think, if you didn't know, you would think that, that came on this car. One of the neat things about the feature car obviously is the interior, and yours is original, but you took a few liberties and some modifications. Tell us about the interior on this car. Yeah, so uh, originally it had the original Mustang seats that were covered in white with the back seat that matched. Uh, I found a set of Corbo GT2 seats that are far more comfortable for me to be driving in, and we had them rewrapped in the white leather for period correct for the Fox body for this feature car. We also had the headrests uh, sent out, and they also digitized the embroidery uh, and matched the pony running pony, which was only uh, feature four ninety three. So for the factory, this, this would have been on a factory seat. You just moved over to these seats here. Now the upholstery is this original Ford upholstery on here, or is it? Yes, this is original Ford upholstery. Uh, when I first did the car in probably 2011, 2012, we had the car wrapped. He had gotten new old stock white leather in. Okay. He had some left over, and I took it back and he was able to have enough to wrap this up oh, wow. to match. That's impressive. And tell us then, what else do you have done in the interior of this car? It makes it a little bit, obviously you have the original floor mats, which are really, really hard to find. Yeah, so I have the original floor mats. I still have my old floor mats that came with the car that are really rough. But okay. I found on some of the Mustang forums, the guys had these and I snagged up a pair. Um, also some notable changes as I changed the dash, as some Fox Body owners know, uh, some gauges just stopped working, and I was like, let's go with something more reliable and a little bit more modern with real-time uh, gauges. Uh, also changed out the leather wrap steering wheel for a Ford Performance. I've got the new cup holder, because uh, every Fox body knows there's you no good cup holder. You the seat for so long, yep. Right, yeah, there's, that ashtray is no good for me, so I need a cup holder. And like I said, we drive the car, so we try to enjoy it, and, um, those are just some things that I changed inside the car. Uh, I'll put a doubled in uh, CD player in there, bring it up to modernize modern. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because it was a cassette player, and I don't have a CD player with a cassette that can play, still plug in. So gotcha, gotcha. Bring it up to speed a little bit. Now, moving back a little bit here, uh, what, tell us, what the, obviously, you've got the Celine style spoiler on here instead of the original spoiler. How did that come about? Yeah, so when I bought the car, and I didn't know any of the um, history of these cars, it was a SR1 wing, double-decker. Okay. It's huge. Big and, 80s style. Yeah, yeah and uh, I couldn't find a original spoiler to match this. They make repops, but they have the LED light in it. Okay. And I didn't want to rewire or cut a hole in anything that I didn't need to. And since the holes were already there for this, we had I went ahead and put a saline wing on it. Okay. But I would love to put an original wing back on it. Uh, but I kind of still think that this if anybody is out there watching me. happens to have an original feature car spoiler, let us know and we'll put you in touch. We want to thank Adam for bringing out this beautiful feature car convertible today. And if you live near the Harrisburg area and you have a special edition Mustang, hit us up in the comments below. We'd love to have it here in the studio.